This doesn't have to be your life. You are capable of doing great things because it's not about the not -being. It's about the getter. It's about what you do after the knockdown. That is what defines who you are. What's going on, Ian Humphrey here? Motivational speaker, author of the book, It's Not About the Knockdown. It's About the Get Up. Back with another real short video. I, and I, I want to just cover in this video just one simple question. Because I hear a lot of people saying, what if I don't make it? What if I don't succeed? What if I don't do this? What if I don't do that? They continuously ask themselves that question. And I believe success does come down to a question. And it's a question that you have to ask yourself. Because let me explain something to you. Smart people get fired every single day. Talented athletes, people that run faster than you, people that jump higher than you, they get cut from teams every single week. I'm going to tell you why. Because they're not willing to continue to put the work in. So here's the question that I need you to ask yourself instead of asking, what if someone's smarter than me? What if someone joins a squad that can jump higher than me, that can run faster than me, that can do all of this stu other stuff? What if somebody has more degrees than I have? Stop asking that question and ask yourself this question. How hard am I willing to work? <laughs> That's the one question. How hard are you willing to work? How much time are you willing to put in? I've seen a lot of smart people get outworked. I've seen a lot of athletes are talented, fast. They're faster than everyone else. They, they can jump higher. They, they, they're more skilled. But they get outworked. So when you begin to have doubt that you can't do something, when that what if begins to set in, what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not smart enough? What if I'm not what if I don't have enough degrees? Just you gotta push that out of your mind and you have to ask yourself this question. How hard am I willing to work? Are you willing to put in the time? Are you willing to continue to be the first one in and the last one out? Or are you that person that when the clock hits punch out time, you sprinting for the door? car already warmed up and you burn the rubber out the parking lot. But then when it's time for promotions, you scratching your head saying, how come I didn't get mine? Where's mine at? How come Joe got a promotion and I didn't? I'm going to tell you why. Because while you were burning rubber out the parking lot, Joe was, Joe was back at the office grinding, continuing to work. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. So let's make 2016, as this year comes to a close, let's make it the year of working or, or outworking everyone else. Because as long as you're willing to put in that work, as long as you're willing to outwork everyone else, <laughs> you got a spot on the team. This is Ian Humphrey reminding you that it's not about the knockdown. It's about to get up.